clumped together and there we go. Yeah, good video there. I was hoping someone might go out there uh -huh. and take some video of that, Dave. Yeah, the pollen levels are going to be dropping. Of course, we have the rain. They're at medium levels today. Tomorrow will be low. They go back up a little bit Saturday and they'll be high Sunday, but we're going to get rain to come in, so that should drop back down as we get into Monday. So if you're an allergy sufferer, just keep taking the daily allergy med. Best thing you can do to get through this very pollen time here coming springtime. Cloudy sky right now. Tuscaloosa here where we're coming in at 60 degrees that are warmer than most of the spots around the area. Downtown cloudy sky as well too. We're at 57 degrees with some light winds the dew points there in the 30s. There's some dry air still in place. 55 Alabaster, 54 in Jasper, back to the Coleman area, heading to Talladega and back into Clanton now. And we do have the clouds and yes, a couple of showers starting to kind of line up here. Tuscaloosa near Birmingham, back toward Gadsden, Aniana area there, heading back to south of Aliceville, going toward Utah as well. And we'll start to see a little rain now, but a lot better chance for rain will go up as the day goes on. A little warm front nudging its way northward here across our area. A little disturbance will ride along the front here and eventually that cold front back near the Texas pain handle will move in as we headed to tonight. So chance of rain fairly low at 7 a.m. 20% increases to 70% chance we get to lunchtime today. Temperatures around 62 in Birmingham. The further south and west you go, you may get up near 70 degrees for the high temperatures out there today. But the chance for rain around 80-90% here to the north. 60-70% uh, chance through Birmingham and around 50% chance you head down toward the Alexander City area. For any of those youth sports this evening, soccer, baseball, softball going on or anything else, temperatures falling to the upper 50 50s, but the chance of rain is still pretty good. 70% at 5 o'clock, still 60% by 9 o'clock. Now the chance of rain tomorrow is 70%, but that's just in the morning. We dry out Saturday, but another round of rain for the most part all day Sunday before we dry out as we head into next week. There is a low end risk for severe weather over western part of Alabama as well today. Could maybe see some hailstones mixed in with some of those thunderstorms, but nothing significant expected with this, which is good news. So future cast will show again that band of rain coming on in here from 10 o'clock this morning with the warm front continuing here through 3 o'clock this afternoon. So as the kids come home, pretty good downpours are expected. Little break as we get to about dinner time tonight and then overnight we'll see our front coming in. Rain will continue at 2 a.m. and into tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Then gradually coming to an end during the morning and by lunchtime we have the sunshine back out and through the afternoon and evening looking pretty good as we head into your Friday. Then we have another system coming in Sunday. It's another cold front coming into the area. That'll bring us some rain during the day, but that should clear out as we head into the Monday time frame. Now rain totals could pick up maybe one to two, three inches of rain, if not more between now and Sunday. So do you need to be prepared for that? And then we have below average temperatures next week. Average high is 65 and we're going to be well below that to start the new work week. Don't forget the time change as well. Saturday night and Sunday before the storms arrive and then you'll see next week sunshine, but cool.